All right, guys, so I wanted to do a quick sparring narration video. I'm going to cover one of my favorite submissions in jiu-jitsu, which is the double sleeve fast snap triangle, right? Uh, there's two reasons I love this submission. One is you can set it up from double sleeve, and in my opinion, the double sleeve is the most controlling guard in jiu-jitsu. It's so hard for your opponent to get out. And two, your opponent really can't feel this submission coming. A lot of submissions your opponent can feel coming, so they resist. This is like, it lulls them into a sense of false security, and it snaps so fast. So first, I'm going to give a quick map breakdown and then I'm going to go into the sparring narration portion. If you already know this technique, you can feel free to jump straight to the sparring narration portion. I've included chapters so it's easy to sort through. And again, if you guys like the content, be sure to like and leave a comment to let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Your guys' comments really helps in giving me ideas for future videos to make. So we can get to double sleeve a lot of different ways. We're just going to assume if you're new, an easy way to get to this position is if my opponent stands up in close guard, I just keep both sleeves and I unlock my legs. Now when I control both sleeves, it's hard for him to pass because he can't grab my legs. So from here, I'm going to throw my left leg over his shoulder and make a shallow lasso. My right leg, turn to that side. My right leg is often past the body in the beginning. What I want to do is I want to pull my right leg back and I'm going to put my foot in the bicep. If he has a grip on my pant leg here, I'm just gonna break this grip and bring the foot back. Once I bring my foot back to the bicep, I turn my palm down so he can't regrip my leg. And from here, there's gonna be a gap on his elbow knee space on this side. Uh, even if there isn't, often after a while being in this position, it's hard for him to predict when I'm gonna pull this and that's gonna open this gap to hit the triangle. So I'll be here like this, get out of it, right? So I'll be here like this and I'm just gonna pull both arms up and I do a hip up like this, and I grab over his back. From here, it's easy to push the arm across. I throw the leg over, back up and finish. Another cool trick you can use here is if he grabs the pants, sometimes here the guy keeps his elbow a little bit tighter and it's hard to kick through to break. So you can kick above to break. And again, I come back, I pull the sleeves, shoot my hip up, I wanna catch my weight on my legs, arm across, slide back to break posture. Another useful way to set this up is often my opponent will keep this elbow so tight I can't disconnect it. So what I'll do is I break past the body with the right leg and now I'm gonna switch the right leg to a high lasso or shallow lasso, high on the shoulder. My left leg I'm gonna unlasso and come on the inside. Now because I'm attacking the far side, often that leg is back and this elbow space will be open. It really surprises your opponent and you can hit it on the opposite side. I push the arm across, leg over, slide back to finish. So the last variation we're gonna look at is sometimes your opponent will grab your belt and this makes it hard to lift your hips because you can push it down. So here I like to use the deep lasso with my left leg. The deeper I go, when I center up, that's gonna break the belt grip. We'll do that on the other side. So he has the belt here. I have the same double sleeve grip. I go really deep. I center up and that breaks the grip. From here, I can now pull my leg back out, shoot the triangle and finish again. Okay, so this first clip is actually from my friend Espen Matisse fighting at the Abu Dhabi Pro. So you can see he starts off with a right spider hook and a left foot shallow lassoed. So here he wants to shoot his hips up to go for the triangle, but if your opponent has a grip on your pant leg, it's hard to shoot your hips up. So he's gonna break that grip. Uh, he does it in a really clever way, which is he kicks up to break the grip instead of under the elbow. Both work, but sometimes if your opponent has his elbow low, it's hard to kick through. So he breaks the grip up that way. He's gonna end up doing it again here. Once he breaks it the second time, now his opponent doesn't have a grip on his legs and his hips are free to shoot up to go for the finish. So it's gonna happen really quick. He's gonna unlasso the left foot and then he's gonna shoot his hips up here. I'll try to pause play really slow so you can see it right there, super fast shooting up, lands, and then he tries to threaten the arm bar immediately, and this usually has the effect of driving your opponent back into you to defend the arm bar, but then that just tightens the triangle choke and makes it easy to finish. So this clip is actually from my friend Ahmad Amran, and this is actually the first person I ever saw use this setup. Uh, he trains in Stockholm, Sweden at Prana Jiu Jitsu. So uh, in this case, he's starting off with the lasso here and the right spider hook. He's creating a little bit of space. Um, you can see his opponent has a grip on his pant leg here. He's probably, he just broke the grip there by kicking. I'll rewind that a little bit. He just broke the grip here by kicking under the elbow this time instead of over the elbow. So now he's past the body, he's got the lasso. He's denying that grip from regripping the pant leg. And in this case, he actually pushes off the hip. So he creates a little space here. The foot is on the bicep. There's no grip from his opponent. And now he's gonna create a little bit of space with the foot on the hip and it's the same setup. He just shoots the hip up in the air and it's gonna hit really quick. Right here, boom, right there. 
in this case, he pulls the leg over the back of the neck first to break posture. I often push the arm across, but you can do it both ways. And now he's moving into the finish. So the next clip here is actually Keenan Cornelius versus Felipe Andrew. In this case, Keenan, you can see here with his right arm, has a cross grip on Felipe Andrew's bottom leg. This is commonly called a mad dog pass. Uh, Keenan with his left arm is looking to get his lapel so he can progress with the pass. And Felipe Andrew is defending by holding that sleeve so he can't grab the lapel. So uh, it's really smart. What Felipe Andrew does is he gets the other sleeve here and now he's gonna kick that bottom leg to break this grip that Keenan has on his leg. And what happens here, it looks like he's giving up a pass, but once he breaks this grip here, now Keenan doesn't have a grip to defend with. So as he recovers and he's still holding both sleeves, he's gonna get a lasso with the far side this time. So it's gonna be the right foot here. And now he's in the angle with that right leg lasso. This left leg is gonna come in front of the bicep and above, and he's gonna shoot right from here into the triangle. It happens really quick. Right there, he's in the triangle. And in this case, he goes for the triangle, and in the opposite of the Espen one, he's gonna end up finishing with the arm bar. So now the triangle's pretty tight, and you can see Keenan starting to slip out backwards here, which is gonna make that arm bar get into a really tight position here, and he finishes here with the top. Really good setup. This is another one from Felipe Andrew. Uh, this time, again, he's using both sleeve controls as a defensive method, which is a great way to defend. And now he ends up with both feet on the biceps. And he does something I really like here. I'm gonna rewind it just a little bit. He switches from having both feet as a spider and he lets go of that left hand that was on the outside and he re-grips inside, which creates that lasso and foot and bicep position. Once he's here, now it's really easy to shoot the hip up again for that triangle drags the arm across, uh, which I like to do as well to break posture, and goes for the finish here. And the next clip uh, is also in the same match. I think this is from earlier in the match. He has a deep lasso, he gets the space separated, and now he uses that spider hook to extend, and in this case, he doesn't even break the grip first. So sometimes if you shoot the triangle quick, you can shoot your hip up and break the grip as you do it. Right there, he gets the shot, and he ends up transitioning to an omoplata because he slides out. And this last clip is from uh, uh, Shane Jamil versus Fabio Caloi at Worlds, and he's doing another deep lasso setup. So he's here deep with the lasso, he has the right spider hook extended, and it's so extended that uh, Kaloy cannot grab his pant leg. So when he pulls this leg out, you can see he's just gonna yank that out and the triangle's gonna shoot really quick there. Pushes the arm across immediately to break posture. And now he's in a great position, hooks the leg, really tight triangle there, closes off the knee space, and it's just gonna be a matter of time on the finish there. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. I'm gonna be adding some new content on my website as well, so be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it yet, www.johnthomasbgj.com. I'm gonna be dropping a new guard retention and open guard building system, uh, as well as adding in a new double sleeve system and a De La Hiva passing system soon. So if you haven't signed up, be sure to do that.